Hi guys, last time I showed you how you can fix this message if YouTube means it's too old and you can't update your device. Now I have a permanent fix for you. So I got this normal YouTube start icon and this YouTube fix button. Let's press it. Voila, it's just one click and some waiting time. And if you're interested how to get this done, stay tuned. So what do you need? You need apps or an app with plugins, which are chargeable and you need some time. But I promise you, you will have also some fun to fix this YouTube point, point, point. So if you're still interested, please download the Tasker app and the Tasker plugins, auto input and auto share. All are from Joam GCD. Please download it and we will together configure it and create our task. So now you can pause the video, install the apps, and if you're ready, click continue. Now we have installed AutoShare, AutoImport and Tasker. And we will configure each of them, starting with AutoShare. In this case, we just starting the trial so you can test it for free. And if you're asking, is this a necessary step? Yes, it is. So that's done. Go to the next auto input. We are also starting the trial and we allow now the app the needed permission. Auto import. Yes, it's okay. So running. And then we can go to task. Tasker is an app. Um, I I didn't know this app in former days, but I'm watching some videos on YouTube like you, and now I can create tasks, and I just want to create one special task now for you. So go to tasks. We are starting with adding an action there are many possibilities and i want to do an alarm a pop-up message it's a toast and we can give it some text like you are awesome Going back, then it's saved. There is a play button where you can test your action or actions when we have more. So that's a toast. Yeah, so you're really great. We are just starting our whole process here. The so next step is. Um, to set a variable because we need uh, to fix a YouTube app and we need to give it to auto share 
But just follow me, just follow me. Go to variables, set it, and we call the variable package or something else. But I would um, recommend you to use package. And it got the value com. That's a YouTube app package name. name. Google point Android point YouTube and save it. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Okay, if we now test it, there will nothing happen because it's just uh, giving a value to a variable. So now we are using AutoShare. It's like a normal action starting. But now we need um, the plugin AutoShare. AutoShare. And there we go to the configuration. And we need to configure one more thing. Um, there are uh, the option to get more intent. And we need one special intent. So just open your browser. And we are now uh, going to the website of the developer. There are some intents that are maybe very useful, but we just want, need one special. We're scrolling down to the bottom and our intent is called something with open. Not open contact, it's open app. and import it with auto share import intent now it's imported and we can go back to tasker mm. and now we have here one more option at app at app we are now choosing android And then you get the hint. Oh, plainly set the package variable, which we have already done. Okay. So our action here yeah, is go to app detail settings. That's all right. And I think that's already everything. Okay. Click the check. Time out, maybe fewer seconds or so go back so save it and now we test again our process if it opens the YouTube details settings mm -hmm. that's a YouTube app info or details that looks great so then we go to the next step and that's now important to know how your buttons are called. I'm using this with a German language, maybe you in English or a different language. Just notice which uh, label you have on this button to stop the app. Then we are going back to Tasker and adding one more action and now we are using the plugin auto input action configuration so and now 
the action is a click. We want to click this button to stop the app. So click and the file to type is text. So you need the label of this button in the file text in my case. In my case because it's German is erzwungener Stoff. You're typing your text here. And I think we are done with this action. I want to lower the time out to five seconds or four seconds and save it in with going back. And I Testing the whole process chain. And now it clicks this button. Now we have a next button to click. Yes, we want to close it. So the next button is like okay. Probably in English it's the same. We are going back to Tasca. And now I'm lazy. I'm copying this action. I'm long pressing on the action, copy, long pressing again and pasting. So now we have um, to configure the copied action. Just click on it. And the text should be changed to OK. Yes, it's OK and we are done. So, and by the way, um, if you have a wrong order, just click on at the right side of the list, press long and you can reorder the actions. Just to prove it's working, it's pressing the stop button and it's pressing the OK button. So there are just three things left. Pressing the delete data button, the OK button and then starting YouTube. We are going back to the task -up. Lazy people like I am, we are just copy and pasting. And once again, pasting. So we are here at a tongue and a stop and okay. And now we have to configure the next button. And in my case, the button is called Daten löschen. It's not okay. It's Daten. And it didn't have the right letter here, so I need to use it on my Android keyboard. And now I'm making a mistake. So just you can see if you're making something wrong, nothing happened. So that's wrong. But, uh, going back to save it and start the chain. So it's can't push the, push the button because I misspelled it and you saw action timed out. Okay, we're going back to Tasker and fix a problem with just giving it the right label or field text. Now we can push the button 
and we have already copied the OK button. So the whole chain now deletes all necessary data and we have just to start the YouTube app. Um, I just want to give it a better text here at the beginning with a pop-up message. So starting YouTube. And again the last action and now we have to launch an app, launch it and it's YouTube in my case, YouTube in data. So the whole chain now is complete and we start it. Yes, I know it needs some time, but it works. So one last step, um, saving our task. So going back to Tasca, going back, back, and now it should be saved to be 100% certain I exit the app and start it again. And you see your task is saved. So in our last step we want a widget, a start icon. Yeah, it's, a, it's not a widget, it's an icon for our YouTube fix task. So I add a widget from tasker, a task shortcut, lay to the home screen and now I can choose my already saved task, fix YouTube. Going back. Oh, so, sorry. We have to choose our icon. And we can choose an already existing icon. In my case, I want YouTube. And YouTube should be ha having a, some the original, of course. Okay, it's lagging. So come on. Now we have an icon, save it, and voila, here is my personal YouTube start icon, start button, whatever. So I delete my original, and now I'm using this one. And that's all. Now you have a permanent fix and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I made just for you. So thanks you for watching. If you have fun or if you followed my video and found it helpful, please give me a thumb up. Thank you. Bye bye.